Hey guys, welcome back. So by this point, we have created a very basic listing um, from which we've created a fulfillment order uh, for Amazon to know where the product is being shipped from, how much of it is being shipped, uh, which you find out from your supply, they should tell you. And then you fill out all that information in the previous video that I showed you. And then you will get the labels that you send back to your manufacturer. They label it. And then uh, when you're shopping around for freight forwarders, they will ask you, uh, ask you questions such as where is it coming from? Where is it going? You now have all that info. Now let's work on our Amazon listing. This seems to be one of the biggest kind of challenges for people um, that I've spoken to. And I want to break it down um, to uh, basically two simple subsections, but it's all kind of interconnected. So the subsections are the product name, um, the images, the description and the bullet points, and the backend keywords. Uh, basically, we're just working with search terms here. You can put up to a thousand characters. What does this look like here? We have the title, we have the images, we have the bullet points and description, and then the backend keywords, which are only seen here. So I'm going to connect all of these together and I will show you the process by which I kind of put it all together and connect and hopefully it makes sense to you. Hold tight. Okay, so if you're at all familiar with search engine optimization, um, you'll know that keywords is pretty much the biggest part. Everything stems from keywords. Keywords are when the person searches, types in, let's say, baby muffs or ear muffs or ear muffs for babies. Um, the search engine algorithm, whether it be Google or Amazon or any other website, will pick out specifics to more carefully analyze what the person's searching for and to present to them the best results possible. So that's what we're going to try and do. We're going to try and reverse engineer what people look for and then put that into our backend keyword. So not what we think they search for, but what they actually search for and then customize our listing and our backend keywords to that to make sure that it's found. So when I search baby earmuffs, uh, I get this front page and uh, looking at the numbers um, other than this guy right here, um, this seems to be the most successful one, but let's say, you know what, for actually, no, I don't think this is baby muffs or kids ear muffs. Let's say we want to specifically concentrate on baby muffs. So, um, right here, this guy seems to be doing quite well. Following my process, you will want to have three to four of these guys. So this guy, this guy, uh, let's say this guy and oh yeah, for sure. But this one, this guy right here. Um, but for the sake of it let's say these guys are doing pretty well so we're going to search them so number one step is finding keywords there is uh, free tools and there's paid tools so the first the free tool is Google keyword tool let me show you this okay so this is the Google keyword tool you get here by uh, just going into your Google AdWords account and then on the top bar around here you will see tools and that's where you select keyword planner so let's say this will give you an idea of what people are searching on Google, not specifically on Amazon, but on Google. So let's find uh, baby earmuffs. Uh, we want specifically United States. United States of America. Nope, that's the one. And we're not really gonna apply too many filters here. We're just gonna kind of go at it. So let's see what they present to us in our search. So, Right now, we're not specifically looking for monthly searches because, like I said, this is Google. This is not Amazon. That's not what we're looking for. But we're looking for most relevant ideas. So baby ear defenders, uh, earmuffs for kids. Okay, these are some pretty cool ideas. I like that. Um, and uh, you could export this as an Excel. I believe it's, where is it, at the top? or Right here, download. And you just download it as an Excel. But let's say for the sake of planning or for the sake of an example um, we're gonna go to merchant words if you remember that from my first video how to analyze a product uh, that's what we're going to use with these guys okay so here we are logged in into merchant words and this is uh, whereas the keyword planner is a free tool that you can use to find you know uh, relevant keywords that you can possibly use in your back end and in your title and everything like that um, but it's it's also good to do your due diligence and see what kind of keywords perform the best. So let's start with our original search, baby earmuffs. 
Kabams. Uh, we're going to organize this highest to lowest search volume. Baby earmuffs, not too bad, 7500. Baby earmuffs noise protection. And then it'll give you a couple of ideas here and there. But let's say I will take top three. So these three, I'll probably put them into, like save them and put them into my backend. Now let's try baby ear <laughs> defenders whatever the heck that may be. And sometimes if you're a little skeptical about what these things mean, so it's less than 100, but let's say it was like 100,000, you're like, whoa, I think I found something. Um, you want to go back to Amazon and actually search for it. So I'm, I'm searching baby ear defenders in all category. And this is what comes up. Uh, we can run our jungle scout on it and see if this, if this keyword actually performs. Like, is it worth searching? I would include it. It doesn't really cost you anything to include it, so just throw it in there. But you mean, I mean, like, you know, if you can, like, for example, uh, you know, we don't really see that first, that the bebe, uh, whatever performing, uh, you know, performing product. And these guys are performing quite well, so why not throw it in there, right? Um, so then we'll go earmuffs for kids. That's a really good one, I think. And uh, that's not something that I thought of the top of my head, even though it's so obvious. Earmuffs for kids, 6,000 noise canceling earmuffs for kids. Possibly. I mean, if, if yours is not noise canceling, you might want to, you know, uh, think twice about it because people might complain. Oh, I searched for noise canceling and these aren't negative review. You don't want that. Earmuff headphones kids. Okay. That, that's not a bad one either. And then we can, like I said, once again, we can double check it on Amazon. What comes up for earmuffs for kids? This is what comes up. Once again, you see an array of different products. I would just pile in all the keywords in there and just search it. So that's what you have here. This is how you use the google keyword tool just download everything go through here just kind of check it out even if you don't want to you can just kind of pile it all in in the back end but uh, i would recommend picking out the most the highest performing keywords and uh, then make the, then we're going to use those to make uh, our title our description and our back end keywords we're going to sort them because uh, what i found from my research is that it actually matters what the um what the order is in the backend keywords and how you place everything together i think it does matter so we're going to save that okay so a couple of things to keep in mind is when you get your search here um you know let's say we searched baby earmuffs uh, you're going to get results like kids earmuffs you're going to get children earmuffs and i want you not really to be careful but but keep that in mind because when you search uh baby earmuffs you're going to have one thing uh and then if you search kids earmuffs you're going to have a completely other one it's going to come down to size uh competition you know there's way more competition than kids earmuffs than baby earmuffs categories right um that's one thing Number two thing is the search volume. You're going to be competing in a whole bigger pool rather than, you know, what I was saying before, keeping it kind of like a small field monopoly, which is what you're trying to do. Um, so the way that I described it before is, you know, copying and pasting all these keywords into here one by one and kind of getting the best uh, listings and make sure that they have baby category or no categories okay as well. Uh, another thing that you can do is take the most basic key terms. In this case, it will be, let's say, earmuffs. Right, and we're gonna just or an even ear muff. I will do, and we just go straight to baby category, and let's see what what they give us here. Uh, search, and here we are. So we have baby ear muffs. We have toddler ear muffs, which I haven't thought of before. We have infant ear muffs. Interesting. Electronic shooting ear muffs. I have no idea what this is. What is that? I'm so curious. Um, and basically that's kind of like the back end. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. We don't want that. Um, uh, that's kind of like the back and forth process, um, that we want. And basically what we're going to be doing is earmuff shooting, lots of earmuff shooting. No, just infant earmuffs. Um, and we're going to put it into an Excel spreadsheet, just kind of copy and paste some of the best. I'll, I'll edit it after for you guys. Uh, earmuffs for babies as well. Let's grab these guys. And you kind of get the point, basically. Um, now, another way to um, to find some good keywords is actually Keyword Inspector. And I've used it before, and it's really cool. Basically, what you do is um, you take the ASIN of whatever you want. So let's say these guys performing quite well. Uh, I would usually take three ASINs. So I'll take the three top performing baby earmuffs in this case um, 
products in our niche that we're going to be competing against i'm going to copy and paste their asin and i'm going to buy it now i know that um the amazing seller podcast if you go on there uh, what are they called um uh, if you go on their resources, you will find a promo that you can put in here. You can buy 20 credits for $20, I believe. And then you just run a list and it gives you um, their keywords that these guys are using in their paid campaign, what kind of keywords they're using in their back end, what kind of keywords are getting them sales. So it gives you a detailed analysis. And I would use that, especially if it's your first product, like the cost for the value that you're getting is extraordinary. So I would use that. And now let me edit this stuff re real quick and uh, I will tell you what to do next. Okay, so I did a quick sample edit on uh, our keywords that we came up with. I just deleted the categories. Those aren't really necessary. So we have the monthly traffic volume and we have the keywords that we found using our free tools. This is, this is not me using Keyword Inspector. Uh, I just skipped that. With Keyword Inspector, it's actually a lot easier. You could just grab all the keywords that you get from there and just put them into your PPC campaign. I'll show you how to do that afterwards once we get to PPC stuff. This is just the backend title and, you know, um, the works, kind of like the listing that we're working on. So let's sort these guys by best performing um, to worst performing. Or I guess most search sort by... Um, uh, value, yep, A to Z, column B. Okay, let's do it backwards actually. Largest to smallest. Okay, so here we go. So earmuffs, baby earmuff, baby ear protection. Um, baby earmuffs are all doing 7,500 and then you're kind of going less and less and less. So I will put baby ear muffs protection um these are the same we can actually delete this toddler muffs infant noise protection so that's how i'm going to organize my words so uh, let me just take all of these and put them in a column as individual words and of course you're going to be doing this with a lot more words but like i said this is just an example so what I did here is basically go through each word and then put it in a column if the word was not repeated. So baby, ear, muffs, and then baby and ear were already repeated here. So I didn't put them, but then protection and so on and so on. You kind of go, there's some free tools that you can find where you can just plug in all of these guys and it just kind of gives you this list. Uh, but it's good to go over, for example, headphones. Headphones as an individual word is uh, pretty irrelevant to what we're trying to accomplish here. So I'm actually going to delete that. And let's say these were like the only words that we were playing with. Now we can start crafting our title. Um, with the title, you want to make it flow. Uh, you want to fill up the space, but you're prioritizing flow and read readability as well as putting your most performing keywords such as baby ear, muffs and protection. Um, you're putting those up front. You always want those up front in the first column uh, so that when uh, you know people search uh, baby earmuffs, they will see your first five or six words next to the primary photo um, right away. So, come on. Okay, so yeah, we have the primary photo and then we have whatever our, I don't know, sometimes it's five, sometimes it's ten words, but there it is, right? So that's what we're going to uh, be putting in our title.